Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro was taken to a Sao Paulo hospital for tests early on Monday after experiencing abdominal discomfort. Government statement published by the global media outlet said Bolsonaro is doing well and further information will be provided later in a medical bulletin. The president returned to the financial capital during the night from a New Year break on the coast and was immediately taken to hospital Villa Nova Star. Bolsonaro posted a photo of himself on Twitter in the hospital bed, giving a thumbs up. He writes that more tests will be done for a possible surgery. Global quoted Bolsonaro's doctor, Antonio Luis Macedo, as saying Bolsonaro had stomach pains. Since his stabbing during the 2018 presidential election, Bolsonaro has undergone stomach surgery several times. New York's attorney general recently issued subpoenas to former President Donald Trump and his two eldest children in connection with an ongoing civil investigation into the family's business practices. Attorney General Letitia James' office says in a court filing Monday that it is seeking testimony and documents from Trump, Donald Trump Jr., and Ivanka Trump in connection with an investigation into the valuation of properties owned or controlled by Trump and his company, the Trump Organization. Trump has shoot attempting to end the probe, which he says is politically motivated. The New York mayor is firm to keep school operating, though new cases are spiking, while schools in Seattle are still closed after snow winter hit badly. The New York City school children have returned to the classroom despite a surge in COVID-19 infections over the holiday break. Newly sworn in mayor Eric Adams said on Monday that New York would keep its schools open. New COVID-19 cases have more than doubled in the city over the school break. In the seven-day period that ended on Saturday, the city averaged about 36,000 new cases per day compared to over 17,000 per day in the seven days before schools closed for the holidays. The U.S. is expanding COVID-19 boosters as it confronts the Omicron surge with the Food and Drug Administration allowing extra Pfizer shots for children as young as 12. Boosters already are recommended for everyone 16 and older, and federal regulators on Monday decided that they are also warranted, warranted for 12 to 15-year-olds once enough time has passed since their last dose. But the move coming as classes restart after the holidays isn't the final step. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention must decide whether to recommend boosters for the younger teens. The FDA also says that everyone 12 and older who is eligible for a Pfizer booster can get one as early as five months after their last dose rather than six months.